alarming uh, that something like this could happen. New tonight, a Greenville medical practice is on probation after pleading guilty in federal court. The U.S. Attorney's Office says Neurology Associates of Greenville bought and received non-FDA approved Botox from a wholesaler in Ireland from 2010 to 2013 and used the drugs on patients. 7 News reporter Aaron Rogers has been following this story and spoke with a former patient about what happened. I had no idea this was going on. Bruce Wilson had been a patient at Neurology Associates and resorted to using Botox after being unable to find a relief for his constant migraines. It was probably about eight or nine injections throughout my body on top of my head and whatnot. Um, it didn't work. He says the pain came back the very next day. And now he's upset that he wasn't given a drug approved by the Food and Drug Administration. I wasn't told that, yes, there were some problems or there were some concerns about some of the medicine we've issued you or gave you. His doctor's office was placed on probation after pleading guilty in federal court today for receiving non-FDA approved Botox across state lines. The practice also paid a $300,000 fine from a United States civil case for submitting Medicare claims on the non-approved drugs. We saw the for sale sign in the yard, but it wasn't until we walked up to the door that we saw Neurology Associates closed at the end of June. Dr. Barry Bishop, a plastic surgeon we talked to, says when you're dealing with drugs, everyone involved needs to do their homework. You have to ask questions about the various products, and, uh, and we as physicians have to ask questions. He also says a non-FDA approved drug won't necessarily hurt you. Non-FDA approved doesn't necessarily mean it's a dangerous or bad drug. It just hasn't been studied for a specific situation. But still, patients say they will use this as a learning experience. Make sure I, uh, you know, check the next uh, doctor I, I go to. I definitely want to be uh, given medication that is FDA approved. In Greenville, Aaron Rogers, 7 News. The practice was placed on three years probation. The office only left a fax number and a post office mailing address as contact information. They said that they would actually provide some updated information on the company website, but when we looked there to find it, we couldn't find anything like that.